Hello everybody and welcome back. We're still looking at the 2007 Gauss paper, the grade 7 Gauss paper by the way, from the University of Waterloo, and we're up to question 18. Hopefully you guys have had a look at it. Let's take a look together now. So, question 18 here. Fred's birthday was on a Monday and was exactly 37 days after Pat's birthday. Julie's birthday was 67 days before Pat's birthday. On what day of the week was Julie's birthday? Okay. So we've got Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. No chance it was a Thursday or Friday because they haven't given us those options. All right. So let's think about days. They're not very mathematical, but days in relation to weeks, is there is a mathematical relationship there. There's seven days in a week. Okay, and a week before a Monday is another Monday. Let's take a look at a calendar. A week before a Tuesday is another Tuesday. Okay, so if, you know, Fred's birthday is on the 15th, and the 15th happens to be a Monday, seven days before that, the 8th is also a Monday. Seven days before that, the 1st is also a Monday. Okay, six days before is one day after a Monday, so it'd be a Tuesday. So what we can do is we can, instead of looking at the 37th, because we don't care what number day or in, in what month Pat's birthday and Julie's birthdays are. We just care about day of the week. We can start looking at things in chunks of seven. Every seven days is a week, which doesn't change the Monday. Okay? So uh, what we can do is we can start counting backwards from the Monday. So Fred's birthday is a Monday. Monday has an A in it, of course. Okay. So seven days before that is a Monday. Seven days before that is a Monday. Seven days before that. In fact, any multiple of seven is going to be a Monday. So 28 days, 35 days even. 35 days before this Monday is another Monday. And now two days before that is going to be, uh, what was his name? Pat, right? Pat's birthday. Although I guess Pat could be a girl. Patricia. So Pat's birthday is, so one day before a Monday is a Sunday, and one day before that is a Saturday. So Pat's birthday is on a Saturday. 35 days before a Monday is a Monday, and then two days before that is a Saturday. Okay, so we know Pat's birthday is a Saturday. Great, but we weren't asked that. We were asked about Julie's birthday. Well, Julie's birthday is 67 days before Pat's. So we can use the exact same argument if you need to grab a calculator. I'm just going to very quickly ask myself, what's the, the closest multiple without going over of 7 to 67? So I could divide 67 by 7. I get 9 point something. Round that down. 9 times 7, 63. So nine weeks before Pat's birthday is still another Saturday. And 60 that's 63 days in total. Okay? So from this Saturday, 63 days, nine weeks, still have another Saturday. Now we need to just go back four more days. One, two, three, four. And we'll get to Julie's birthday. So what's the day before a Saturday? A Friday. The day before the Friday is a Thursday. The day before that is a Wednesday. And finally, a Tuesday. The day before that. So Julie's birthday. Is on a Tuesday. And I think that was D. I think it went in order. Yeah, D there. Okay. Alternatively, did we really need to work out Pat's birthday? Couldn't we have just said, well, 37 plus 67 is a total of 104 days? And then said, okay, 104. What's the closest multiple of 7 to that? Well, 14 times 7. So 14 times 7. I'm just working it out on my calculator. 98. So 104 minus 98 is 6. So we could have... We could have just said, okay, 
Skip over Pat's birthday. Fred's birthday is a Monday. Go 98 days before that. You'll still have another Monday. And then that's the 99th day, the 100th, 101st, and so on, all the way down to the 104th day, and that will just be a Tuesday. Okay? Or you could even say, well, let's go 105 days and then back by one. That's another way to go about doing it. Okay? It's a nice little question. As long as we make the multiple of seven connection, it's not that hard. It'd be very bad to just start counting out, okay, one day before Monday is a Sunday, and then it's a Saturday, and then it's a Friday. And you're going to lose track if you do it that way. So we use some multiples of sevens, understanding the relationship between days and weeks. That saves us a bit of time. So up next will be question number 19. I will see you for that in the next video.